Hello, I'm Joe Vasquez, Field Service Specialist for Grumfus. In this video, we will demonstrate the proper way to change the seal on the Grumfus LC and suction pump. Before we begin, make sure you follow your company's lockout and tagout procedure, as well as wearing any personal protective equipment that you may need. Once power to the motor has been locked out, we can then close the discharge and suction valves to the pump. Once the valves have been closed, it is time to drain the pump. We drain the pump, which is the plug, at the lowest point. Once pump is drained, the first thing we need to do is support the volute underneath, since the volute is going to remain in place. Let's begin. Once the pump has been removed from the volute, we have exposed the impeller. In the eye of the impeller, we have a, what we call an impeller screw that needs to be removed and then the impeller pulled out. Now we will remove the impeller. Now that we removed the impeller, we have exposed the seal hardware, as well as the seal head. Now it's time to remove the seal head. The seal head removed, it's time to remove the seal housing from the motor. For this process, I'm gonna have to reposition the motor. Now it's time to remove the seal housing. In order to do so, we must remove the four bolts holding the seal housing to the motor. Now that we've exposed the seal seat, we will use a screwdriver to pull it out. Before we can install our replacement seal, we need to make sure that our gasket area, our seal seat area, and our shaft sleeve are clean. When replacing the seal, try to handle the contacts areas at least as possible this being your stationary and this being your rotary head. When installing our, our stationary, we want to lubricate the rubber bellow and insert it back into its origi original location. Now we're ready to put the seal housing back in its location. Now it's time to put the seal head back on. Make sure you lubricate your seal sleeve as well as your rubber bellow on the seal. At this point, we are ready to reassemble. First, we will install the key. Then we will install the seal hardware. Now we're ready to install the impeller. When we install the impeller, we have to make sure and replace the impeller screw, which is part of your Grumfuss seal kit. Be sure to tighten all bolts according to your torque specs. Now we're ready to install the volute. When installing your volute, be sure to replace the gasket, which is also part 
I will grab first your kit. Now that we have snugged our bolts, we are ready to torque our bolts to the required spec using the star-shaped pattern. The reassembly is now complete. Now, before we can put it back into operation, we need to make sure that our impeller turns free before we pipe it in. It appears to turn free. I think we're ready to go back in with it. We're now ready to prime the pump. First thing we do is replace the drain plug. Now, we're gonna have to find a way to relieve the air from the volute. Easiest way is to loosen the plug on top. Plug now loose. We can open the suction valve very slowly and check for leaks. Once all air has been relieved from the upper plug, we can go ahead and tighten it back down. And continue to monitor for leaks. If no leaks are detected, we're now free to open the suction valve completely, as well as the discharge valve. Once this process is complete and there is no leaks detected, now we are ready for operation. We hope you find this short video useful. Thank you.